Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're learning how to make schnitzel. Now if you're a Passages alum, you've probably tasted schnitzel while you were touring Israel with us. It's a very thin breaded piece of chicken. The history is really interesting. Ashkenazi Jews actually brought it to Israel when they made Aliyah and it has been super popular ever since. You can eat it with falafel or fries or pita, but stay tuned and I'll teach you how. To make your schnitzel, you'll need a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, half a cup of flour, a tablespoon of water, two large eggs, one cup of breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of sesame seeds, a fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper, and of course, some fresh lemon wedges and parsley for garnish. First, you wanna examine the chicken breast to see if there are any layers of fat that you can cut off on the outside or any pieces of tendon. Schnitzel is traditionally very thin, so now you want to take your chicken breast and slice it in half. Now lay a piece of plastic on your counter and set out your chicken breasts about an inch away from one another. Take another piece of plastic and cover your chicken breast. Now you wanna make the chicken a little bit more tender by using a meat mallet. But if you don't have one, like I don't have one, you can just use the back side of a pan. Press down as hard as you can. Now as you go to prepare your breadcrumb mixture, set your oven to 425 just to get ready to bake the schnitzel. We're going to work on the breadcrumbs. I'm using regular panko breadcrumbs, but you can use any kind of breadcrumbs that you would like. Now you're going to add your paprika, sesame seed, pepper, and salt. In a third bowl, crack two eggs. And mix in a tablespoon of water. Now it's time to coat the schnitzel. Take the chicken breast and coat it generously in flour. I'm using just regular all-purpose flour. Next, you want to take your breast and dip it in the egg mixture. And last but not least, you want to dip it in the breadcrumb mixture. You can use your fingers to make sure that it's coated evenly. I like to have a really thick coating. Shake off any excess coating and place your schnitzel on a well-greased baking sheet. Now we're gonna repeat the same exact process on the remaining pieces of schnitzel. Coat the schnitzel with a pretty liberal amount of oil on top. Traditionally, schnitzel, schnitzel is actually um, fried in a pan with lots of oil, but I wanted to make it a little bit, a little bit healthier and easier, so I decided just to pop it in the oven. We're gonna let it sit in there for about 15 minutes before we broil it for a few minutes. Let's check on the progress. <gasps> Do you hear that sizzle? Oh my gosh. I like to garnish my schnitzel with some fresh parsley and of course, freshly squeezed lemon. Okay, you guys, we finished our schnitzel. Let's take a bite to see how it turned out. I'm so excited and nervous. Mm. 
Look at that, a perfect coating of breadcrumbs, really thin and tender chicken. I'm so excited for this bite. Should make this it's really good 